Hello, some of you have asked how to get the new Dr. Rex beats into the sequencer since the interface is different in Reason 6.0. So we're going to create the Dr. Octo Rex loop player. Now immediately you'll notice that the interface is different, that there are eight different loop buttons here. And each one of these loops is a different drum beat. Press run and we can hear what's in the one tab. If we switch it to seven, we'll hear a different loop. We can switch it to five and hear a different drum loop. So how do we get these drum loops into our sequencer? Well, it actually works exactly the same as it did before, but it's hidden in the programmer. So open up your programmer, and you'll see that there's a button that says Copy Loop to Track, and it'll copy the loop between the L tab and the R tab. So if we wanted to start with the 1 and then go to the 5 button, it'll copy it. Then we can move our tabs over again and try that 7 loop. Hit the copy loop to track button. And then let's finish up with a number one loop again. Move our tabs over. Select the loop we want. And hit copy loop to track. So if we press play here, we should hear all of our loops. And wait, notice that it sounds a little bit funny. That's because it's running both the loop and the audio that's in the sequencer. So to make it so it doesn't run the Dr. Octo Rex, you just go up and click that Enable Loop on Playback button. And when we press play, it doesn't automatically run the Dr. Octo Rex. That's the basics of it all. Obviously, you can do a lot more with the Dr. Rex loop layer, but to get you started, that's all you really need to know. Over and out until next time. This is Matt Merton. Bye-bye.